Hello. This video is for members of the Public Employees Retirement System, Teachers Pension and Annuity Fund, and Police and Firemen's Retirement System. We will review your personal benefit statement, which is accessible through your member benefits online system account. We'll refer to this as MBOSS for the remainder of the video. To begin, you must log into your MBOSS account. On the home page, click the Personal Benefit Statement button. Employers report salary and service credit to the New Jersey Division of Pensions and Benefits on a quarterly basis. The date at the top of your statement will reflect our last quarterly update. This is the most current information available. There are four sections of information pertaining to your pension and benefits. The top left section of your personal benefit statement is your account information. Your total pension service credit presented in years and months regardless of your payroll schedule. This includes all service worked or purchased from your date of enrollment in the pension system through our current posting date. At local government, local education, or state monthly locations, you earn an accrued service credit on a monthly basis. For every month you work, a pension contribution is made, and you earn one month of service credit. As you accrue service credit, there are milestones you will reach. At 120 months, which is 10 years of service, you are vested. At 300 months, you will have attained 25 years of service. At 360 months, you will have attained 30 years of service. At a state biweekly location, you earn an accrued service credit on a biweekly basis. For every pay period you work, a pension contribution is made, and you earn one pay period of service credit. As you accrue service credit, there are milestones you will reach. At 261 pay periods, which is 10 years of service, you are vested. At 651 pay periods, you will have attained 25 years of service. At 782 pay periods, you will have attained 30 years of service. Your total employee contributions are the total amount of which you've contributed to your pension. The current pension contribution rates are 7.5% of your base salary for PERS and TPAF and 10% of your base salary for PFRS. Your net employee contributions after loans is the amount of your total employee contributions less any outstanding pension loan balance as of our last quarterly posting. Chapter 8, 25 year date is the date you attain 25 years of service. Chapter 8, bargaining unit is the labor union or bargaining unit contract agreement in effect as of your 25 year date. Chapter 78, 20 year date will reflect if you attained at least 20 years of service as of June 28, 2011, the effective date of Chapter 78, Public Law 2011. Please note, Chapter 8 and Chapter 78 information will not appear if it is not applicable to you. Your membership tier is determined by your date of enrollment in the pension system. There are five membership tiers for PERS and TPAF, and three membership tiers for PFRS. PERS and TPAF membership tiers are outlined as follows. 
Tier 1 members were enrolled before July 1 of 2007. Tier 2 members were enrolled on or after July 1 of 2007 and before November 2, 2008. Tier 3 members were enrolled on or after November 2, 2008 and on or before May 21, 2010. Tier 4 members were enrolled after May 21, 2010 and before June 28, 2011. Tier 5 members were enrolled on or after June 28, 2011. PFRS members are outlined as follows. Tier 1 members were enrolled on or before May 21, 2010. Tier 2 members were enrolled after May 21, 2010 and on or before June 28, 2011. Tier 3 members were enrolled after June 28, 2011. Your group life insurance benefits are the estimated value of your active group life insurance. If you are enrolled in the pension at age 60 or older, you are required to prove insurability. Prudential, the life insurance carrier, will contact you directly with instructions. The bottom left section of your personal benefit statement is your estimated benefits. You are advised not to apply for retirement based on the information provided here. You may be eligible for another retirement type and the benefit reflected here only uses six months of your reported salary. A more accurate retirement estimate can be obtained through your MBOSS account. The top right section of your personal benefit statement is your personal information, your full name, last name first, your pension fund, and your member ID number, your date of enrollment in the pension system, your date of birth, your gender, if proof of age is on file with the Division of Pensions and Benefits, you'll see that reflected here. If not, you can submit your proof of age through your MBOSS account using the online document submission button. If eligible, veteran status is established through the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs. See our fact sheet regarding veteran status for additional information. The bottom right section of your personal benefit statement is health benefits. SHBP, SEHBP. If your health prescription or dental coverage are administered by the State Health Benefits Program or the School Employees Health Benefit Program, your plan name, coverage level, effective date, and termination date will be outlined here. If your health prescription or dental coverage are not administered by the SHBP, or the SEHBP, no information will be provided. This video is meant to provide a general overview and may not address every individual situation. If, after viewing the presentation, you have additional questions, please visit our website or contact the Division of Pensions and Benefits.